This is a relaxed hook slosh spring. When a 0.3 kilogram box sits on top, the spring is compressed by 0.02 meters. The box is then pushed further into the spring for 0.01 meters and then released from rest and set into oscillation at t equals to zero. Find the spring constant k, the amplitude of the oscillation, the maximum speed of the box during oscillation, and the position as a function of time. Let x equals to zero at this position. To find the spring constant, we can use this piece of information. When the 0.3 kilogram box sits on top of the spring, it is balanced and in equilibrium. That means the net force is zero, so we know for the box, the downward mg gets canceled by the spring's pushing force upward. So we can use F equals to kx because it's for forces being balanced. The force kx balances the mg, so the force of the spring equals to the mg, which is 3 newtons for the 0.3 kilogram box, and this equals to k times the compression 0.02. Therefore, the spring constant would be 150 newtons per meter. Next, let's find the amplitude. The amplitude is the distance between the endpoint and the equilibrium. And where do you think the equilibrium position is? The definition for equilibrium is uh, the net force is zero. So this is the equilibrium position because the net force on the box is zero when it's sitting on top of the spring. The box then gets pushed down by 0.01 meters from that equilibrium position and then let go. So this position is the end point. The distance between the end point and the equilibrium position is this extra 0.01 meters. So 0.01 meter is the amplitude. Oops, 0.01 meters. To find the maximum speed, we can use the conservation of energy. The total mechanical energy is the same the entire time of the oscillation. At the end point, all of the energy is in potential energy, one half k amplitude squared. At the equilibrium, all of the energy is in the kinetic energy, one half m v max squared. So let's see. The k is 150, the amplitude is 0 0.01, and uh, the mass of the box is uh, 0 0.3, and we want to find the speed. So if we set these two equal each other, we will be able to find the v max to be 0 0.224 meters per second. Now let's find the position as a function of time. The position as a function of time should be either a sine or cosine kind of function. So let's figure out which one that is. So if I plot the position as a function of time, let's see, the box is released at t equals to zero. At the beginning, the box is 0.01 meters below the equilibrium, and the equilibrium is the x equals to zero. So at t equals to zero, the position of the box is 0.01 meters below. So the position at the beginning at t equals to zero is positive 0.01. Since it starts right there, it must be a cosine function. So when we write the position as a function of time, it will be a cosine something. Now let's see. What goes here? This part is the amplitude because cosine oscillates between negative 1 and a 1. If we want to make it oscillate between negative amplitude and the positive amplitude, we have to multiply the cosine by amplitude, which is 0.01 meters. 
and then cosine what goes here is uh, something that's proportional to the time so it's a constant right there and to find this constant we'll have to have period because what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the t equals to the period because when the time equals to one period this angle here will be 2 pi because that's how long it takes the cosine to repeat itself so I need the period to find the period of this uh, simple harmonic oscillator we can use uh, the period equation which is 2 pi times the square root of m over k so it's 2 pi times the square root of the mass is uh, 0.3 the k spring constant is uh, 150 so this gives us uh, 0.281 seconds which means uh, if I plug in t equals to 0.281 seconds this uh, thing we're looking for times the period 0.281 seconds should equal to 2 pi should make this angle here 2 pi because that's the angle it takes uh, for a cosine to go through one cycle so what goes here is uh, 2 pi divided by 0.281 which gives us uh, 22.4 so this is 22.4 and that's the position as a function of time with this equation we can find the position of the box at any moment during the oscillation for example if I want to find the location of the box at t equals to 5 seconds all I have to do is to plug in t equals to 5 in the equation and then carry out the calculation to find the x one thing to remember is we will have to set our calculator to radian mode because in this equation the angle here is in radians